Verhart Plaza, where the annual African World Festival in Detroit is taking place. It's looking calm out there right now as people go out and enjoy, but there are showers on the way. Let's check in now with 7 First Alert meteorologist Hallie Vogel. This is more of a typical summer pattern where we're most of the day is dry. We have sunshine, nice warmth, a little bit of humidity, and then we get into the afternoon and early evening and a few storms start to pop up. So this active weather pattern means we can't get a completely dry day in here in the near future, but it's not a washout either. So we're looking at warm and muggy conditions, humidity a little higher than yesterday, even more so tomorrow, and then the pattern Pattern does break, but it's going to take until early next week to really get that pattern to change. We've got a lot of lightning strikes up toward Traverse City, the Saginaw area, so north of us, seeing a few more showers just developing over the eastern portions of Lake Michigan. So this is kind of the setup for today. It does look like it's going to be rather random and scattered, so not everyone's going to see the rain as we go through the afternoon and evening. Better chance for that, though, late tonight into tomorrow, so I'll explain that in a moment. 77 degrees in Ann Arbor, also in Detroit. These were our high temperatures yesterday, so we're already there at this hour, so we know it's going to be a warmer day overall. 79 degrees in Howell, and our dew points are in the low 60s, a little higher than yesterday, and that will also increase tonight into the overnight hours. Here's an upper level low back to our west. You notice that we do have that compromised air quality because of the wildfires in Minnesota, in Wisconsin. The surface cold front will actually bring that smoke down to the surface as it sweeps in for the weekend. Out ahead of it where we are, we're just looking at some unsettled weather at times. So 80 degrees in Chicago, 91 St. Louis, 91 in Kansas City. The big heat just to our south. We'll get a little taste of that today. I think we'll take a little step back tomorrow simply because of the rain and clouds and then warm up again on Sunday. Temperatures into the low to mid 80s today. Our chance for rain as we go through the day today spikes a little once we get past 3 o'clock and about a 30 to 40 percent chance through the afternoon. And then notice how it goes up even more so as we head through the overnight. So we're going to watch that. And this is 5 o'clock in the evening. You can see how scattered it is across the area. We're in that marginal risk. It's a one out of five limited, but still a storm could produce some strong winds or some damaging hail. This is 11 o'clock tonight. We're seeing a little bit more widespread rain. It comes through and it does come through, I think, in rounds. So late tonight into tomorrow morning, tomorrow afternoon, we should see another surge and that one could also bring down some gusty winds. So we are in a marginal risk for Saturday as well. We'll watch for it. And then Sunday afternoon, it looks even more limited. So I think by Sunday, we're at least starting to dry out a little bit. By the time we get into Monday, that is the tail end of the system. But looking at tomorrow, we're going to keep our chances on the higher side at times throughout the day. Overall, Saturday looks to be wetter than Sunday. And then the pattern breaks on Tuesday. So yes, let's just kind of get a dry day in here from start to finish. Tuesday and Wednesday look to be those days next week. Hallie, thank you.